Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this week's video. I've got the video for you. I'm going to be telling you what the uh, third month hair growth challenge is because we want health for our hair. If you want to know what I'm going to do for this month's hair challenge, stick around. Okay, so I always come to you introducing the hair. I have um, cut myself some bangs. Can we just appreciate the curl? Look at the curl. Look at this juiciness. Hey, shh. Mewo. Nothing like a good old trim, eh? Um, and yeah, the hair's looking kind of healthy now. I'm giving it a little bit of time of rest. Obviously, <clears throat> I went on holidays. Those of you know, I'm still, it's, it's fading. My tan is fading. I went on holiday and <clears throat> I burnt my hair when I was on holiday. <laughs> I did burn it. I burnt it. I really do believe I burnt it because my hair texture is just a little bit dry. Well, I was in the sun like, like bearing all hair out, no protective styles, apart from one day wearing this hat. And the rest of the days my hair was all out in the sun because I just wanted my hair to be free. And yeah, it's kind of stupid because it was burnt in the sun. <laughs> So good, when I got home from holiday, I went straight into regiment mode and put on the deep conditioner. I basically just slapped my hair back into, hey, you are going to do what I say, submission type of behavior. And I think I've, you know, kind of got myself out of that potential damage. And so I've got to be honest, okay, for this third hair challenge, I was a bit like, mm, what am I going to do now? But I had to kind of like do what I've done in the last two months, which is to study my hair and just to work out what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, the season that we're in. We're in summer now, so I need stuff that's going to protect my hair, it's going to fill in the gaps, it's going to make my hair stronger and moisturize my hair. I kind of thought to myself, I need to go back to some basics. So the basic I wanted to go back to was an Ayurvedic hair tea. So I've incorporated a little ingredient, some um, just to put a little, you know, a few things together. But of course, you know me, I'm not going to be leaving out the black rice water. Ayurvedic teas are really meant to give shine, um, strengthen your hair, help with dandruff. I mean, the list is endless. Just so you understand what I'm talking about, I'm not talking about a tea rinse where you have to rinse it out your hair. I'm talking about a tea that you can leave in your hair. So I've put together ingredients that I feel that will really be beneficial for this season that we're in, um, for what my hair needs at the moment, and just to give maximum moisture. Oh yeah, and <laughs> we want long hair. I, I, I want my hair to grow, like grow. Okay. So in order for this third month to be successful, I needed to come up with a routine that I'd be really able to cope with. And I'm going to have to do two things in this in every week. I'm going to I'm just going to have to do two things. So the first part of it was for me to make a super rich Ayurvedic tea that I could use on a daily basis. So that means in the morning I will spray it into my roots and spray it on my ends. If I need to refresh my hair, I will spray my hair with it. And the second part of my routine will be to do a pre-poo. I had to go right back, like way back, where my hair, after I washed my hair, it was just on another level. And that was when I was doing pre-poos and I kind of swayed off doing pre-poos. So for the hair tea rinse, I'm going to be using um, some lovely ingredients. Okay, so right now I'm going to be doing everything in this jug. Don't mind this jug. It's um, It has been used and slightly stained, but it is clean. And in there I have 400 mils of boiling water that has cooled down just slightly. I'm then going to be mixing in the black rice water. So this is the black rice water that I prepared earlier. So if you want to see how I prepare this black rice water, I will leave a link up here for you to see that video. I'm pouring about 200 mils of the black rice water. There's no real hard and fast rules for how much water or black rice water I use because I'm just going to use enough for what I will need for the month. Uh-uh, I'm editing the video and I did not tell you, you put aloe vera in it. I have put 120 mils, okay? Back to the video. Now, some of the other ingredients that I'm going to be using as Ayurveda ingredients are in my Amari Mee's Thirsty Hair Ayurveda Tea Rinse. I'm just going to empty the contents of this. The next tea that I'm going to be adding is a new one. It's called Yaba Mate Tea. 
Where did I find this tea? This tea I found on the internet, okay? I just was researching. No, I'm not trying to make you buy um, new things every time I have a hair challenge. I'm not trying to, you know, waste your money, your coin. I'm not trying to do that. I'm just researching. There are so many out there. Why just stick to the few that we have now, eh? You've got to do your research and explore the thing. Uh, first of all, this yerba mate tea is heavily grows in South America, <clears throat> need us anymore? Where there are a lot of other things growing, which people smoke, you know, and marriage or what? Not really. Just, just, just saying. I'm just saying. Yerba mate also aids in strengthening your hair and making it bouncy and voluminous. That's what I need. Volume. So moving on to hibiscus tea. Uh, this is rich in vitamin C and amino acids. It improves the blood circulation under the scalp to stimulate hair growth. And so now I just feel like I need to put a little bit of oils in the hair tea because I don't want some stiff hair. <laughs> I don't want my hair breaking off. So I need to put something in it that will give moisture, like moisture, like so much moisture. <laughs> So we're putting in avocado. Avocado oil is extremely rich in oleic acid and monosaturate fats, making it one of few oils, okay, just a few of oils that can actually penetrate the hair shaft and moisturize the hair. We're also going to be putting in neem oil. Neem oil stinks. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so pongy. You don't want to wear it um, without putting anything on top. Is things all, and of course, the mother of all Ayurvedic seeds, we've got fenugreek seed powder. Now, fenugreek seeds have a high protein and nicotinic content, which is very effective in making the hair strong right from the roots and dealing with any follicular problems. Which means, if you've got any scalp issues, it's gonna deal with it proper. Now, I'm just gonna leave it to sit for about four to six hours, and then I will sieve it out and put them in four different spray bottles. So now we've got all that under wraps, okay? I'm just gonna tell you what I'm gonna do once a week before I wash my hair as a pre-poo. So what I've got here is the aloe vera powder and the henna powder. And I'm gonna mix those two together with the black rice water. Now obviously I'm gonna be using aloe vera because I want a lot of moisture. I don't want my hair to break. If you didn't already know, henna is great for filling in the shafts of your hair. If your hair has breaks in it in the shaft, it would be like a magnet and just fill in those gaps, making your hair nice and strong. So now I'm gonna use aloe butter just to give that extra creamy moisture slip. I'm putting in coconut oil, and then I'm going in the, with the rice bran oil. I used this rice bran oil in the first month. I'll put a link up here um, just to show you the video that I use for my hot oil treatments or how I give my hair an extra boost. And then I'm going in with grapeseed oil, no particular reason other than the fact that it absorbs really nicely into your hair, other than the fact that it just, my hair loves it and it's a really nice non-greasy oil and of course we're going to be putting in the manuka honey now this particular one only has the five percent strength so just like the tea rinse i'm going to be leaving the pre-poo mixture for about four to six hours and then i'll put it in four small containers so just in case any of you may be asking some of the questions, let me just run through. So I'll be using the tea rinse on every day. So 30 days, I will be using the tea rinse. Maybe I should stop saying rinse. I will use one a week. So I will put the one that I'm using in that week will go into the fridge. So I take it out of the fridge every day and the other three will go in the freezer. I will not be washing it out, it's a leave-in. So if I decide to put it in my roots, and on my ends and if I need to refresh my hair I'll give it a good spray whatever I'll be using for that week I will already have it in the fridge until wash day and leave the other three in the freezer so I hope that's understandable I'm not going to be washing out the uh, Aveda tea leaving conditioner I'm not going to do that I'm not going to wash it out until it's wash day so I'm hoping that no one's going to ask me that in the comments because that's one of my most frequently asked question for any one of my videos 
I'm going to be using the pre-poo before I wash my hair. So that may be hours before I wash my hair or it may be the night before. Maybe I want to put it on in the night, put it on my hair, wrap my hair with cling film, sleep overnight and then in the morning wash it out or rinse it out and then carry on with my wash day routine. So one other thing I need to mention, I'm going to be starting this challenge on Monday the 1st of July. So that is when the challenge is starting for me, the 1st of July. Please let me know in the comments down below how many of you will be joining me on this last hair growth challenge. Who knows, I might have another hair growth challenge after we'll see so guys that's it thank you so much for watching this video i really really appreciate your time a big thanks out to you who are new subscribers and have joined my channel have you noticed have you guys noticed i'm fastly we are approaching 10,000 subscribers it's amazing thank you so much guys and thank you to you online friends who never fail thank you guys you your support is fantastic i cannot thank you enough thank you so much for your conversation i say it every week but and i really truly mean it and i really enjoy answering all of your comments so keep them coming and if you've just come across my channel and you've actually ended you've you've seen the end of this video thank you hey <laughs> subscribe now so guys don't forget there's a video being uploaded on sunday i'm trying to upload a lot more it's a bit hard you know running a mari me <laughs> A girl has got to trail. So bear with me. I am trying to upload a few more videos in the week. The struggle is real. But for now, guys, thank you so much. And I'll see you again in my next video. You take care now. And God bless you. Because he loves you. Bye.